All right, double decker, Dave. Hello to chat. I'm just going to give it a few seconds to fill up. By the way, if someone could just let me know if they can hear my voice okay, because last time I did a live stream like this with Az, um, you couldn't hear my audio. So just let me know that you can hear me. Yep, all right, cool. Uh, you can all hear me, so that's just fine. All right, let's 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 fucking have a go at Resident Evil Village. This is, like, the first time I've played this. It just got delivered today, uh, so I have got no idea what it's like. I'm coming into it totally fresh, and you can now watch me fumble my way around and have no clue what I'm doing, but let's give it a try. All right, new game. Let's start. Uh, difficulty, let's just go for standard. Let's see what we've Long got ago, here. A young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The what is this stopped. fucking directed by Tim Burton? Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord Hey, came, someone from the Isle of Jura, nice. And bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> so she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Someone's asking me if I've seen Invincible. Uh, no, I haven't yet, but uh, everyone's raving about it, so I gotta watch it. But hunger's grip tightened, and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Mark Van Damme says, Notice me, you drunk mad lad. I do, Mark. I do notice you, Mark. And I'm very pleased that you're joining us for this stream. And snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terrifying Looks like those monsters are pissed at that little girl, man. The beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Right. Okay. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Yeah, people were asking, is this Resident Evil? Fuck if I know, man. I mean, it says so on the box. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store. Yeah, who reads bedtime stories to a baby? It's not like they can understand anything. <laughs> Stupid baby. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't Duck fart says, say my name, drunk lord. All right, duck fart. <laughs> Remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then? Yeah, aren't you the woman that just chainsawed my hand off in the previous game? I mean, I'm still fucking salty about that. I'll finish dinner. Okay, Rose. Man, I remember when Resident Evil games gave you a gun and zombies to shoot. Now I've got a house and a fat baby in my hands. Yeah, there it is. Something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Your baby's fat and ugly. All right, let's go around the room. 
It does look nice. Nice TV there. That rug is horrific. Who puts a rug on fucking stairs anyway, fucking idiot? Yeah, well, looks like a room. Where am I supposed to take this baby again? There we go. Another room. Oh, wait, it's the same one. Uh. Examine. We can go for a walk. Nah, let's not go for a walk. What's in this drawer? Nothing. Alright, up we go. I got better I should probably put the baby into bed or something. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, it is. Your mom's an asshole and she's a psychotic murderer. Which one's the baby's room? Oh man, I'm never gonna get there. What the fuck's this? Your mom and I love this song so much. Put the baby down. It's there, honey. Is it? Hmm. There we go. Put the baby in the crib. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Yeah, just don't wake up or, or shit yourself or anything. I don't want to have to deal with that kind of thing. Do, 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 do. What else is here? Examine clothes. What have we got here? Pornhub. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down to our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. Oh yeah, with the cannibal hillbillies. They were such a laugh. I know Mio doesn't talk, like to talk about it, but like, can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah. I could tell she cared about me the way she tried to, like, murder me. What's this? Rosemary Winters. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Ah, so she might be infected with the fungus thing. This is fine. Duh, creepy monkey. What's this? Are there any sexy pictures? Look at her there doing stuff. <laughs> Pete Deemcat says, if there's a microwave around, put the baby in that. It won't fail. <laughs> I wish it could stay like this forever. That's weird. When I glanced at that picture at the top right, I was like, holy shit, that baby's got a fucking hot dog bun for a head. Then I realized it was a hat. <laughs> uh, whoops. Right, let's get the fuck out of here and go back to Mia. I'm sure she's not going to have ch changed into some horrifying monster that tries to kill me. Anything else up here? Maybe I should try and go for a shit or something. Use toilet. Oh, it always pisses me off when mirrors are greyed out and you can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, what we got here? Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. Yeah. Okay, right. Time to go down and see her. What's this over here? Eat the baby. It's the only way. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah, so, a bunch of useless shit in here. Okay. What was this? A historical book into the architecture of Eastern European castles. I'm sure that won't become relevant later. I wonder if there's a book about vampire ladies. <laughs> ah, walking simulator. 
Right, Mia. What are you up to? Is she okay? Jesus She's Christ, how many like, uh, people are you fucking like cooking it. for here? Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Chorba de la Gom. I'm going to have a little drink while she's doing this. You've gone full native, haven't you? Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, mine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Babysitter simulator. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Ah, wine, now you're talking my language. It's just finding... Drink the wine, out. Ethan. Pregnancy. Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose... Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia! Get down! You've got red on you, Mia. Oh man, that chandelier cost a fucking fortune! Mia, oh god! Who's this chump? Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! Mine? Bruh. Damn, man, Chris looks old now. Go on, move! <laughs> All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. No, Ethan! <laughs> I love when you see someone take a rifle butt to the face and it doesn't like shatter every bone in their head. The real tragedy here is that that bottle of wine got broken. Was it but a dream, I wonder? Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. no problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Your test results came back in. You're 100% an asshole. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, come on, Mia. Spill the beans. I have to take this. Come on, champ, time to get up. Jesus. About damn time. What's your stat? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose. I like how these soldiers take their briefing documents with them Fuck. on the mission that they're fucking doing. Like they've got such short memories, they actually need to have it with them to remind themselves of what they're doing. What happened to you? All right, now I can actually do stuff.
What you got for me here? Mission objectives, eliminate the target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two... <laughs> Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Okay. Uh, any guns kicking around? Nah. You look dead. Phone, it's useless. How do you know? No, Ethan, maybe you're useless. Alright, let's go. Holy shit, I'm blown away by how fast this is. Up you go, up the hill. I wonder if I'm supposed to follow this trail. Holy shit, man, this reminds me of that night out in Inverness. Hmm. Alright. On you go, Ethan. Go on, lad. What have we got here? Ah, walking simulator 3000. Ooh, that doesn't look good. The fuck is that? Crow. Fucking crows. Some nasty shit, man. I'm definitely getting vibes from that night out in Inverness. Well, that's weird. Anyway, I got better things to do than hang with you, Crow. Hmm, I wonder if something's gonna jump out at me suddenly from this mist. Hmm. Looks like a person there. I feel like they're setting up a jump scare. Everyone brace yourselves. What else have we got here? Ruined building? Check. <laughs> Hold on to your butts! Can I even take that, that pair of pliers? Pretty sure I could turn that into a weapon. Hmm. What a lovely looking sink. <laughs> I love how he tries to turn it on. What, what's the best you're hoping to come out of that situation, Ethan? One can relate. Looks like someone's been living here. But whom? Alright, let's see what's in this cupboard. Nothing. What's the point in that? There's nothing there. Ooh, who's that? A freaky old lady. Who am I kidding? All old ladies are freaky. Right, let's go. Excellent. A darkened basement. There's nothing bad that could ever happen down there. Let's go. Yeah. You want to leave like a human head or something there, maybe? Just for added goriness? Oh no, oh, garlic! More garlic. Is that a reference to something? Hmm. A really tacky religious picture. Yeah. Don't want that. Oops. Sorry, I messed up your pristine environment. 
Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Damn, man. This game's fucking with my head. Alright, well, there ain't nothing here. Or is there? We should probably go back upstairs and see what's happening. Mm, great. I don't know why I'm bothered. I'm even got control of this. This is basically just an interactive cutscene. What did all this? What indeed? Guess we better go this way then. I think it's like daytime now. I wasn't in there for that long, was I? By the way, if any like super chats come in, I will obviously get through them. Like I'll pause it at a certain point or whatever, just so like I'm not stopping and starting with this. So don't worry if you've sent me a super chat, it will get addressed. Where the hell am I? Hmm. <laughs> Where has got a fucking castle like that? <laughs> oh man, I gotta get there right now. Wonder if they've got a bar. This is a delightful place. Fucking cow. Wait, is that a cow or a horse? I don't know. I think it's a horse. It was important to make that distinction in my mind. More garlic, more vampires. Maybe, maybe they're out. I mean, I will say the the graphics and the environments are fucking great in this. Like the amount of detail is impressive. An easy to pick lock, right? Well, I guess I need something to pick it with. Yeah, nothing else here. Did I just see that? Someone took the fucking horse. Eh, I'll attend to that in a second. I've got more shitty buildings to look in. <laughs> this is Disneyland after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Wasteland, right? Fuck all in there. Alright, let's go this way. Do not enter. Well, obviously, the natural thing to do would be to enter. Uh, doesn't look like there's much else here. Do I need to find a lockpick to get through this? Right. Yeah, clearly I'm going to need some kind of tool. Oh yeah, I can run. Thank fuck. No, oh, but I need a shit! What's this doing here? I mean, it's toy, Ethan. What do you think it's doing in a crib? Ah, the master of unlocking, but he's not the master of unlocking. That's Jill you're thinking of. People point out this has got Resident Evil 4 vibes to it. It really does, actually. Is there nothing useful here? Jesus.
What we got here? Tractor looks pretty fucked. Bunch of heads. I mean, yeah, okay. What happened? What's in Zeeds? Really does remind me of that night out in Inverness now. Said here, block due to missing homeowner. Ah, okay. Of course, it's locked. Everything's fucking locked in this place. Oh, guess we'll have to go in this very obvious door. What you got for me, son? A knife. Ah, I fear the might of my blade. What do we say in this kind of situation? That's not a knife. House? This is a knife. I've eaten worse. Guess it brought me in here just so I could get the knife. Right, I have offensive object number one. What we got here? Hey. Right. Looks like I got a lot of inventory space actually. Jesus. Shit. Alright. Not gonna get out that way, I guess. Oh yeah, there's a curtain there. No, no, friendly, friendly. Why am I not dead? He fucking fired a shotgun. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? That guy is 27 years old. That's what living in Eastern Europe does to you. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a Tell me I have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Don't mind if I do. Sorry, right, son, I've done this shit before. That didn't work out too well. Dead body? Wait, there's more. A lot of dead folk here. See if this was a classic. But no. The fuck am I supposed to get out of here? Alright. Jesus Christ. Damn, that's like me on a Sunday morning. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Ethan, you've just been through Resident Evil 7, man. You must know what's going on here. Looks like a werewolf there. Uh -oh. Man, Ethan with his missing limbs. You need some Jesus juice, son. No. You know, 
fucking gun would be good right now. Bitch! When you're ready, son. Man, these ties take some killing, like. Knife as well. Switch. Ah, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Fucking have that, you prick. So I've got two whole bullets left. Awesome. This chem fluid's amazing, by the way. You can combine it with gunpowder and it turns into bullets for some reason. Yeah, gunpowder and rusty scrap now. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, select an item to craft. Yep. Do it. There we go. Anything over here in the bins? Nah. Right, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'll go through here. Well, a family photo is not going to get that door open. Uh, nothing in here. Have to go back the way I came, see if there's anything else lying around in here. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, I wonder if these might prove useful. To the item which requires bolt cutters. See what you did there, game. See what you did there. What you got for me? Ammo? Yes, that's more like it. Hmm. I wonder if there's a werewolf thing upstairs. Oh, yeah. Up we go, then. Come on, my friends, up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Yeah, people point now in chat, everyone's fucking playing this today. I mean, yeah, I just got mine delivered, man. I wanted to play it. I'm excited. I'm always passionate about Resident Evil games. They're my obsession. Actually, get out here. Nah. Let's go back downstairs, I suppose. Yeah. Ah, 
asshole. Seems like a bit of an unfair fucking scenario here. I don't get it. Fuck you want me to do here? I think we're gonna have to knife this shit up. Over. this. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Damn, dude. Your hand's fucked up. I just went in there, so. I've got one bullet left. That's probably not gonna see me through, I gotta be honest. I'm not trying to steam him over his audience. I honestly didn't even know he was playing this. Uh, he's probably doing better than I am, though. Ah, uh, shit, son. Missed the shotgun, motherfucker. Is it back upstairs? Unpowered is good. Shotguns are better. There's no end to them. Ah, there it is. Okay. That's more like it. Get down this, I presume. Crystal skull. All right, up we go to the house. Dude, 
See, that's just fucking cheating. Who's shooting fucking arrows at me? Let's see if I can get out through here. <laughs> oh shit, son! That guy's gonna fuck me up! do well on this one, like. Giant war, Jesus. It's like one of the giants from fucking Game of Thrones. Ah ha ha, I see what you did there. It was one of those unwinnable battles, eh, where you just made me waste all my ammo. Nice one. Damn, Ethan. You got messed up, son. So you're probably thinking, shit, he's missing half his hand, but Ethan's like, nah, it'll be fine. Peace! Hold up, freaky old woman. Can I go in there? Nah, of course it's fucking locked. Hey, I'm here to shoot you. Life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, man, hey, is there hey, any good places me. to eat around here? It's you, the child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in Getting bed. Silent Hill vibes from this. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Man, the... she's just living Who's her Mother best Miranda? life, isn't she? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Damn, the voice recording sessions for that last must have been fucking awesome. What have we got this time? Oh, 
O great lichens, the fable monster wolves of old, may they come to eat our flesh, may they come to tear us apart. Well, I mean, it's good to have aspirations in life, I suppose. Dead body? Nah. It'll be fine. Yeah, you keep saying these are easy to pick locks, and yet you don't pick them. Where's the lock pick device that I need? Where's my gel sandwich as well? See, I'm not entirely convinced by this whole, like, gothic horror thing that they've got going on with the vampires and the werewolves and the, the Eastern European setting. Where did I view my map? There we go. What have we got? Lockpick. That's where I need to go then. Must have been in that building, I just missed it. Yeah, it is in here. Oh, you need a lockpick, right, okay. And of course you do. Fantastic statue. Seems like there's only one way I can go. I'll have a quick check of this gate up here. Iron insignia key. Lock. A lock. Right. So, yeah, as people are pointing out, if a house is red, then there's still something in it. So, I guess there's something in that house back there. No, thought I looked pretty carefully, like. All right, house, show me what you've got. Is there anything outside that I've missed? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I read that. Old news. Got to be something in this other room, then. Nothing in here. Ah, it's red because I haven't picked the lock. Makes sense, I suppose. I take it there's nothing in this cabinet here. Yeah, whatever. And uh, can't go that way. Nothing there. Guess I'll just have to go up the hill, I suppose. Fucked up tractor. Oh my god, that's horrific. Well, nothing bad ever happened in a graveyard in a Resident Evil game, so I'm pretty confident here. Oh, what you got for me? A herb. Guess this Castle Dimitrescu. I don't think a family photo was going to fit in there. I could probably do with crafting some meds, though. Man, use it now! Well, this looks like a wholesome place. A typewriter. Pretty familiar with these things. All right, is there anything else there? Apparently, there is. Hmm. 
Ah, there it is. Should disaster fall upon the village, check out, seek out the Chris. One is in the care of the church, the other is at Louisa's house. Well, gentlemen, let's take a guess where we're going now. Oh yeah, I should probably look at that, actually. Uh, right, the church is here, Louisa's house is on the other side of the graveyard, and it looks big. Hate flower man. Huh. Where to put it? On biatch, and you come. So, follow me. Ooh, rusted scrap. That's not the sort of thing you turn down. Fuck's sake. Fine. Any movement out there? I want that thing. Say that worked. you doing tonight? Stay back. Please, don't hurt oh, us. cock blocked. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. We're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh. house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Why does everyone sound American? I don't get it. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> yeah, no offense. I don't think your dad's going to pull through on this one. Any more mines kicking around? Oh, get out there. Should probably craft some ammo, actually.
This needs some kind of item. So fucking helpful. Right, to the house. What if I can get up on that roof? Nah. Let's see what's in the shitter. Aye, that makes sense. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Like, the other crest I need is in there, but I couldn't possibly get it open with the fucking handgun that I've got right now. What are you trying to tell me, game? Wait, is that a pizza oven? Need to get those two inside. What do you want me to do here? Oh, yeah, I better unlock it. Come on, it's clear. Oh man, I sure hope your old man makes it. Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Why is she asking me if we're hey, gonna be safe? Fucking hell, I just got what's here. Going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Jesus. Just nag, nag, nag. All right, like, can Just I pick him up? A bit longer, Papa. Hello? Anybody home? UPS. A familiar voice. Louisa, open up. It's me, Elena. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> I say, old boy, it seems like there's a mystery afoot. No, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Yeah, she doesn't seem dodgy at all. You're not from this village. Uh, no. No, because I'm not dressed like a fucking 18th century fucking housewife. I said go. Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Nice, uh, nice place you've got here. Well, no fucking about there. Louisa, they've broken again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Sounds like she has. I think she's a bit of an asshole. Wow, just lots and lots of pictures. All right, well, that was fun. So, like, have you guys got a bar here or anything? Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Nice, <laughs> Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. I mean, they were literally in the next house over, guys. It's not like I uh, saved the world or anything. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left. 
all that's left? There is no one left. A worthless invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch. And you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no Yeah, I expect safe. to be all safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. So what you're saying is there's absolutely no chance I could get a swig of that beer. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana. That's enough. This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Well, that's music to my ears, lady. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and, where is your husband? Also, they, doesn't anyone in this village have a phone no, to, like, call he, the police or something? Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him. For yeah, because that will help. Good idea. Come. Gather. <laughs> One day we were a quiet, devout country, and then the Irish came. <laughs> Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark. To deliver us into fate's hands as the midnight moon rises on black wings. So <laughs> I like that guy in the corner, he don't give a fuck. And await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory. Hmm. There's no real TNA here, I'm no. sorry, chaps. The tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer. I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protects Not sure her. there is, lady. It shall protect us. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh shit, man. This is like a good Scottish wedding. <laughs> Father! Elena, no, stay back! No, let me go! No, no! We have to go! Oh, fuck off, you prick. Let him go! Elena? I said no! And that's what you get. I'm so sorry, Father. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! So let's just head into the bedroom and I'll make sure everything's fine. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. I gotta get out of here. Well, we ain't getting anywhere in that piece of shit. Any ammo, guns, anything? Man, where's Barry with his jail sandwich? When you need him. Any guns, anything? Nah. Oh yes, booze. Now we're talking. 
Look, if anyone needs me, I'll just be in here. Don't bother me for a couple hours. What am I supposed to do with all this money? Hmm. Right, that's fine. I, I get it. It's a truck key. Okay. That's what we want. Now we can have fun. I've got booze and a shotgun. What more does a man need? And now we can gear up for another delightful cutscene. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> we should probably get in the truck now. Step back. We can bust out with this. Uh, uh, that's better. Press R2 to win. <laughs> I love how he drove straight into a wall and it did fuck all. What did I just do? The fire. There isn't any time. Ethan, you are legit like the dumbest fucker on the planet right now. Why didn't you just reverse the truck out through the fucking giant doors that it must have come in through? Let's move. Yeah, no shit. Go! Move your fucking arse! Sweet wall art, by the way. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> yeah. That'd be good. <coughs> Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> there, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey, hey, don't. It's all right. Like I'm Ethan Winters. I've got plot armor. Put you in until I could find my daughter. My hunch is she's. You in don't have plot or armor, though. The place is full of nothing but blood and death, and I don't want to be alone while your father. <gasps> Man, that dude Later, takes no. some killing. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Wait, it's not safe! Uh. Stay there! Come on, give me your hand! Sleep frog on top of him, man! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Marina, don't give up! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I got no sympathy for that one. If you're that fucking stupid, you failed the Darwin test. This is, this is just too much. I mean, I've got kind of mixed feelings about this game so far, I have to be honest. Like, the graphics are certainly fantastic, but it's, um, it's been pretty fucking dumb. I'm not sure I'm loving the werewolves as enemies as well. This place is going mad. 
Mad, I tell you. Fuck, is this happening again? Oh, shit. Let me just look at a couple of super chats while I'm here, actually. Um, Mr. Plague Doctor, Drinker vs. Giant Vampire Lady. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't really get this whole thing about people wanting her to stand on them. Like, wouldn't that just really hurt? I don't get it. But she is pretty hot. Uh, what have we got here? Close the door. Uh, Versified says, got a drink before playing, of course, go away now. Naturally. That's how I get through all my games. I wonder if I need to use the screwdriver on this thing. Yes! What a genius I am. Julianne Donnelly says, hi, a drinker, that's all. You know what, Julianne Donnelly, that's all I need. There we go, I got the crest thing. Now to combine them with the other thing to do the thing that will open the door thing. Uh, Tony Esquire says, Hey Drinker, I really enjoy your movie insights. Greetings from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much, my friends. I was in Washington, D.C. a few years ago and I loved it. Oh, oh, who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Ah! Hey! <laughs> that doesn't look good. Who, who was... What was that? What's indeed? Someone's just having a good old laugh. Right, so I've got the two crests. Now I need to get to the locked door that'll get me out of here. So, where be it? I think that's the one. All right. Oh, wait, where are you? Another lock. Right, interesting. I wonder if I've got a bunch of choices here. Outer gate. Time for another cutscene. Has visited them all. <laughs> oh man, can I like shoot her or something? Fucking asshole. Now I wonder if I can use the lockpick thing. Uh, right, let's go here. Save. There we go. Uh, there's nothing else here. I should put those crests in. I wonder if I can pick the lock over there, actually. Yeah, give that a try. Why not? Yeah, I'll go with that. All right. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? It's that thing. Well, I'm waiting actually. Uh, yeah, Toxic Male Gamer says that woman's hands were huge. Didn't notice, but I'll take your word for it. 
Death MTL dude says, I'm four hours in and loving this game so far. Fair enough, man. Uh, Trenton Quinn says, I really want to know Chris's workout regime and what steroids he takes. Man, you should have seen him in Resident Evil 5. That dude was jacked. Uh, Dr. Zaudin says, a new Resident Evil came out. What the hell? Yeah, it did. It came out. Uh, wasn't as heavily advertised as I would have thought, actually. So, yeah, I'm not surprised people didn't quite know about it. Nothing. Fucking apples everywhere. The fuck? I wonder if you make cider here. It's locked from the other side. Alright. Not much here. I suspect I'm gonna need other items before I can progress through this bit. So I'm gonna have to go around the village and gather up shit. Uh... What's the next super chat here? Neon, neon in Arrakis. Oh shit, I'm locked in. Really? Is that what you're gonna do with me, game? Is it? Oh, you could pull the lever. Fuck. Yeah. Whoopsie. That's me not investigating properly. Uh, I just mustn't have been at the right angle to get it. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. What am I watching? Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> Damn, I am literally becoming Iron Man. <laughs> While we go through yet another fucking cutscene, I'll do a few more of these. But you're whining. We're almost there. Uh, hey, Drinker, I can't wait to see what you think of the game. Make sure you have drinks in reserves. This game it is me. Same goes for you, ladies and gents in the chat. Yeah, I'm getting that sense here. Nick Craig says, now I really want to know what happened in Inverness. No, you don't trust me. Nice. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I've dated worse. Brother, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean, you'll screw around with him in private, where's the fun in that? Give them to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yeah, gag, yeah, because a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me. Well, hello. I'm sure he is ready. Shut your damn mouth! And don't be a sore loser. You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was welded oh, to Oh, keep glory! Hand. One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight! 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 Hey, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen! We thank you for winning. And now let the games begin! Let's see what you can do. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No! Oh shit, son! I think you might have to run here. Eight, seven, six, five, four! Jump, you dick. Showtime! 
Jesus Christ! Ah, a running section. Run for your life. Very nice, even. <laughs> Head to the light, my son. Ah, uh, maybe not, actually. I don't want to go that way. You truly are as strong as they say. Oh, you don't think I'd let you get away. Oh, shit. Gotta keep Dada and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood soaked grand finale. Ah, uh, this is gonna end well. Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Do those freaks have Rose? Allow me to just do a couple of super chats since we're in a quiet section here. Um, Adam Shamsky gave me $50, man. Fuck me. That's very generous. Thanks very much. Um, Duck Fart says, this super chat will get addressed. Thank you. <laughs> um... Wanda Maximoff says, Ethan calling himself the master of unlocking. Jill's not going to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Indeed. This game will be perfect when it fits a woman. Uh, people want subtitles? Yeah, I'll put them on. Language. There we go. Subtitles on. Just in case you're missing the cutscenes. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, what else was here? Um, Stephen Lanuto says, Acute Dim Dimitriuskus, extreme localized blood flow. <laughs> Indeed, people love her. Julia D2 says, I was at work and couldn't SC the other two, sorry, super chat the other two, and since yours, the better gamer, here's $5, you handsome man. Ah, uh, thank you very much, but I am absolutely not the better gamer here. You'll find that out soon enough. Eh, dead guy there. That doesn't look good. Just nice torture devices kicking about. Here we are. Back where we started. Does this work? It'd be funny if the whole process started again at that moment. Uh, excuse me a moment. Yeah, RNTZ says, Hail Drinker, your game of commentary sounds a bit like a Scottish Jack Burton. Hope you review Black Sails, Game of Thrones with Pirates. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, you know what the drinker says at a time like this? He says, what the hell? All right, here we are. Back where we started. What a lovely place this is. Uh, Mike McProductions says, really love your reviews. Also, now nah, it'll be fine. Hope your day's good. My day's been great. I just signed a contract for my uh, 
my latest book that's going to be coming out in America next year, uh, and that's going to be called. Oh. Uh, I've been fuck? waiting for you, Mr. Winter. How do you know my name? Anyone who is you haven't been waiting for a piece of delivery, clearly. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say that castle arouses suspicion. <laughs> That's not the only thing that got aroused in that castle, <laughs> sir. Trust me. But a humble merchant. Here? Forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves. Anything you desire, I can provide. Wow. Welcome. Yeah, you just fucking said welcome to me. Right, purchase items. I'd like to purchase a gun, please. I see. Anything else? Well, we definitely want some shotgun shells. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 did have the best merchant. Welcome, stranger. Please let me know if you'd like to strengthen your weapons. Yeah, we should probably upgrade that. Come now. I'm a merchant after all. Right, okay, I don't have enough money for the rest of that shit. Good day then. What else have we got here? Uh, Scott McCree says, keep up the good work. Thank you. My work's not that good, though. Uh, James Nagel says, thank you for your cinema service. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Uh, Cam Dunn says, drink here. We'll be seeing a full-length review of this on the main channel. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this little stream tonight because I just got the game and I was excited to play it and I just kind of wanted to share my initial thoughts. Could Rose be here? Well, technically, she could be pretty much anywhere, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Vaz. Hmm. Got to look around first before I go up. January 5th, Rednick, delivery of one male, three females. Mother Miranda meeting with Mistress Dimitrescu. The Duke business discussions. That's illuminating. I do like this castle place that I'm in. I'm getting definite Resident Evil 1 vibes from it. Just mooching around a spooky mansion. Seems like handguns the way forward for now. Damn, this place is big. Entrance hall, hall of the four. What else have I got here? Uh, Dominic the Donkey says, Drinker, you massive legend. Got to go to work, but I hope you and the chat have a great day have fun with the tall vampire milf oh i will believe me and thanks for the donation mate dylan trahan says keep up the awesome work some of the best reviews i've seen huge respect thank you very much moody uh trenton quinn i really want to see a day in ethan's training all right winters we're going to show you how to defend yourself if ever attacked now arm the mine <laughs> Uh, guess I'll die then, says Drinker, you absolute stallion, you. I just had to give you some cash. Finally, you're the absolute best. My TV show just got a producer, so I'm celebrating. Nice one, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> Distant screaming sounds. Can't be bad. What we got here? 
Mask the angel's blinded gaze. What? Looking for Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> you know, you've got a gun, Ethan. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, mud. <laughs> I thought she just legit sliced his leg off. <laughs> so, like, is this the part where you guys get naked? Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <sighs> now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Yes, because your brother Let's is see an idiot. How special you are. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> I mean, really, that hand's fucked up enough as it is. Do you really need to cut it? Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. <laughs> Udama! Hey, hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and here we find ourselves. Game over. You know. The thing I used to enjoy about the Resident Evil games is they always had a certain amount of plausibility, or at least there was some kind of explanation for most of the stuff, and they didn't really go into the supernatural, but this is just like full on, yeah, the vampires are just a thing now, I guess. Guys can like be magic and throw metal shit around the room like it's nothing. Guess I'm gonna have to rip my hand off then. Ah, the Jesus juice. <laughs> Let me just do what, a few of these super chats here. Uh, Stephen Lanuto says it's Fiddler on the Roof of Death. Yeah. Uh, Lionel Twain says Resident Evil brought you to you by the CW. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Trent and Quinn, are we going to be safe? Lady, I was here for six minutes before I lost two fingers. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> uh, Orthelios, this game is driving me to drink. I'm already there, man. Trust me. Lady Gotter says, uh, why did they go through with calling this game Resident Evil? Yeah, good question. Hmm. Yeah, that's not looking too good. And any shit that I can steal here? Yeah, so you keep telling me it's an easy to pick lock. Ah. A way out. 
No, guess this is the way then. Where am I in relation to everything else? I'll have you, thank you. Right, hall of the four, bed chamber, lock pick. All right. So I guess I need to go back into the main hall. Where have they taken Rose? Spiffing question, old boy. The fuck? What are you? Nope. Right, whatever I need to use here, it can't be used on that. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> And have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Not really, since I've got fuck all money. I'm quite tempted to shoot you, though. Fat prick. How is this? Dinky little model thing. Alright, what were people saying on Super Chats? Uh, Where to Wonder gave me five dollars. Thanks, man. Um, United Engines of America says, Where the hell is Leon Kennedy when you need him? Where indeed? He would sort this shit out. Right, I need to go upstairs, clearly. Um... Bubba's Big Blast says, A giant lady, a weird Uncle Heisenberg, a creepy doll, and snappish mother. It's like a Midwest family reunion. <laughs> Heather McCleskey says, Thank you for making me snort laugh. Excellent. I'll aim to do it again. Uh, Ninja Lawyer Steve says, I watched Resident Evil play through this yesterday. Uh, sorry, Res Residence of Evil. And all I can say is, I hope you packed your bags, drinker, because you're going on a trip. Uh, well, that's what I'm hoping for. There's definitely a bunch of weird shit in this game, so... Um, Mr. DJ Fly High says, Hey, Drinker, what happened to the Fantastic Four Production Hell video? Will we see it again? Also, have you seen Shadow of Bone on Netflix? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I had to take that video down because I was basically told I would face legal action if I didn't, so not much choice there. And it's a bit of a pisser, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, Adam Sharnsky says, would you do a review of 80s Robocop trilogy? I mean, I did already do a live stream on the first one, which was quite cool. Um, and it was a really good laugh. Right, can't go that way then. What have you got here? Nothing. Right, up the stairs we go. Wait. What's this? Thank you, I'll take that. Nice environments, I'll say that much. I wonder 
if I can make any more shotgun shells. Mm, right, all I can make is handgun ammo. Hell, can you actually use this ring on anything? Right, well, nothing useful in here. Ah, you can sell items. Forgot about that, yeah. <coughs> Examine, and what can we do? Take the eye out. Beautiful. Oh, you again. Not the bees! your jugular and just watch taking a live dead which would you prefer I can't hold back any longer <sighs> The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. 1958, damn, this goes back a ways. Just give me one second while I catch up on my super chats here. Sorry I have to keep jumping off like this, but I don't want them to pile up and then there's like a million to get through at the end. Uh... Yeah, fake name says, Hail Drinker, this is totally unrealistic. Ethan didn't apologise for his boner after Madam's sweater puppies hoisted him up. Exactly. And it was probably a very awkward boner. Uh, Mount de Ramen says, I'm only a couple of steps ahead of you while playing it. Magazine is six rounds and direct upgrade for pistol is two rounds increase. Fair dues. Uh, right, what was the rest of this? As if ghosts roam the halls, I want to go home. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window. Shut it, shut it now. They all shrieked at me. Damn, dude. You need to find yourself a new job. Right, nothing here. Let's go this way. Why then? It must just be really inconvenient being that big. You know, I actually once dated a girl that was taller than me, which was fucking weird because I was six foot two. Well, at least I assume she was a girl. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was really weird to have to like look up to kiss a girl. I've never done that before, and I hope to never do it again. But this. Like, Lady Damatrescu, she must be like, what, eight feet tall or something? Fuck me. Hmm, 
Seems easy enough. This is where we have to apply our noggins to this one. Nice physics engine. Staged dirty protest, did you? We've all been there, mate. Any items? Any bullets? Ugh. Damn. Hmm. Call me crazy, but I sense that bad things have happened here. Feeling we're gearing up for a boss battle here. I miss zombies. Look how all the cells are unlocked. Cassandra caused all this mess. Mm, that could be a problem. Which tools do you prefer? She pushed me. <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> you stupid man thing. Nah. I won't forgive you, you bastard. Probably try and shoot the windows or something, I guess.
Sit. Look at my miss in here. <laughs> Thank you. Someone in chat was saying I should do a gaming collab with Brie Larson. Nah, I think her gaming prowess would be too much for me, man. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Looks good. Well, that was a nice little interlude. All right. Now my gun is slightly less shit. <gasps> a lockpick! Now I'm the master of unlocking, truly. That calls for a drink. Excuse me for a moment. Ah. Better. Let me just check and see if there's any super chats that I need to answer, just so I don't miss them. Oh, come on, refresh. Uh, yeah, Max, <clears throat> Max Power gave me two Canadian dollars, so thanks, man, and... Mega Brand C says, have a pint, lad, still loving the stuff. Thank you. <clears throat> Good to know, man. Uh, right, where are we going next? Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. At least I know how to do... There we go. How to quickly use... The medicine. Yeah, I'll probably play like another 20 minutes or something for now and uh, and then sign off because I don't want you guys getting bored. I don't think I'm going to complete the game in one sitting as well. Right, so I've been to the main hall, dining room, uh, merchant's room, yeah. So, is that a simple lock? Lockpick, right. So I've got one of these crystal torso things, so maybe it goes in here. We'll find out. No? Ah, okay, fine. Can't use that here. Go to the marsh and see if I can sell them anything. Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. Welcome, Ethan. Welcome. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Sell items. So, crystal skull. Ooh, crystal torso. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. All right, I want to improve my shotgun. Right 
of fire, reload speed, ammo capacity. Don't have enough for that. Reload speed's not really an issue. You know what I need though? Please I need take a look at my new stock. Shotgun shells. Oh, actually, yeah, I should get the recipe. <laughs> Give a man shotgun ammo and he shoots for a day, but teach him how to make shotgun ammo and he'll be shooting for a lifetime. Perfect. All right. Thank you for your patronage. Lovely. Alright, where's the best place to go next? Probably... Up here, actually, and see what I can pick with this lockpick. Hey, that'll do. This is a sweet shotgun I've got, man. Whoa, nice bed. All right. Where's the best place to go next? I think we're gonna go upstairs. This place is a maze. Yeah, let's take the elevator now. Oh. Let's not take the elevator. I don't want to take your stupid elevator anyway. I don't need you. See what else we got around here. Nothing there, nothing there. Straight through. Right. So there's got to be something I've got to do with these. I need some items that I can put in here. Go straight across the main hall and see what's in the dining room area. That's a cup. All right, they like their blood here. Kind of just came from this way, so not much.
much to be had here. So dumb that you only get like one single use lock pick and then it's gone. You gotta get another one. It's like what does it just break? Does it just blink out of existence? Oh yeah, I've been in there already. I think I've been in here as well. Yep. I think probably I'll finish up for now because I've been playing this for a couple of hours and it's been all right so far. I mean, it's a bit goofy and like, God damn, the cutscenes are a bit intrusive. Um, but I'm intrigued to see where it goes. I kind of want to know more about this, this weird place that I'm in uh, and the vampire ladies. So, yeah, I'll probably pick this up, like, tomorrow and do a bit more of it, but, um, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, it's not bad so far. It's just, it's good fun to play around with anyway. Like, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> it's got a sense of humor, this game. I don't think it knows how goofy it is. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll finish up for now and, um, yeah, pick this up again tomorrow. But, yeah, that is, for the time being at least, that's all I've got for now. Um, and thank you to everyone that's tunes in. Thanks for everyone who's watched this, and thank you for all the super chats. So, for now at least, I am going to go away now.